Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see about the flex shrink property. So we have learned about the flex basis property, flex grow property. Also, we have understood. Now we should we now it's time for us to learn about the another property that is nothing but flex shrink property. So what is the use of this flex shrink property and how this flex shrink property behaves in the flex items? Let's try to see. Here, if you see, I have given a flex basis of 100 pixel. So that means it will take a minimum width of 100 pixel. And here, flex grow one and also the flex grow one. We have given for the two flex items the flex grow one. So that means the remaining space of the parent containers will be distributed equally to the two child flex items. Now, for example, let's say that the minimum width of this one is 100 pixel, right? So if you try to shrink here, so if I am trying to decrease the parent container width if you see here the minimum width of this one is 100 pixel okay so i want this one to maintain 100 pixel but if you try to minify over and over so the two flex items are decreasing less than the 100 pixel but i am trying to maintain minimum of 100 pixel but it's not meaning it is shrinking so that means why it is shrinking is so here for the child items you will be having a property that is nothing but flex shrink property okay if you don't mention it the default property for this one is one so because of that reason it is trying to shrink it now for example if i try to increase it okay fine if i try to decrease it it is shrinking so let's say that for the first element i will keep it as a zero so that means it should not shrink okay it should not shrink so that means the minimum basic minimum width of this one should be 100 pixels so less than that it should not decrease that means it should not shrink flex grow property is nothing but this is the space remaining space it has been given to the equally now if you try to see here both are shrinking at the same right okay so because of the flex grow property but when it reaches the flex basis so now if you see here the item one is remaining at 100 pixel width only Whereas the item 2 is shrinking. Why? Because the flex item 2 is having a flex shrink of 1. Whereas it is having flex shrink of 0. So that means it should not decrease less than the 100 pixel. Whereas item 2 can take can behave according to the size of this one. Because of that reason. So item 2 is shrinking. Whereas item is not shrinking. So if you try to see here. This time item 2 is trying to increase to reach the 100 pixel of minimum flex basis width. If it is going on increasing. Now it is trying to take it. Okay. So this is how the flex shrink property behaves. For example, let's say that in the same scenario, how the flex grow behaves, the flex shrink property also behaves in the same manner only. So it will be related to each other. Let's say that <clears throat> I am having a flex shrink property for this one is also zero. Let's see. Now, if you see here, if I try to decrease it, decrease it, decrease it up to the 100 pixel of minimum width it is taking. Now, if you see, it is not decreasing, but instead of that one, a scroll bar has been created for this one. Why? Because these two flex box cannot shrink less than the 100 pixel. So that is the main thing which we are trying to say. And another one, what I can say is, so for example, let's say that here I am giving flex shrink of 10, the second one, and here I will be giving flex shrink of 1. So that means this shrink should be 10 times more than this one. So now up to here, this shrink will happen as it is. So when it reaches the 100 pixel, so both are now 100 pixel. Now the second one will shrink more 10 times faster than the first one. So if you see here, I am trying to do see item two is decreasing. Item two is decreasing, is shrinking very fast compared to the item. If you shrink more, 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 see item two has been shrink, but item is like this only. It has also shrinked actually. Now, if you try to increase it, first item 2 will reach the 100 pixel. First, see, now the grow will happen. Okay. So, that is the, that is how actually the flex shrink works. The same thing. So, flex shrink and also the flex grow works in the same manner. But flex grow means it will, it will distribute the space between the two flex items. Whereas the flex shrink, it will try to decrease the space between the two items depending on the number what we have given so this is the difference between those two so now you are having a flex basis of 100 pixel for this one and also for this one also we are having flex basis of 100 pixel right 
so these are the things combinedly we can write it as flex 1 1 and 100 pixel so this is also one and the same and here also you can write flex 1 1 100 pixel so this is a shorthand property so now if i try to remove this one and if i remove this one so this is how we can do it so in the same manner what we have did it so like this we can do it so this is all about the flex ring for example let's say that i am having a flex grow let's see or otherwise we are having this one right for example flex grow i am making it as zero and i am making shrink of one and for this one also flex grow i will make it as zero and flex shrink of one so now here the space is remaining why because it is not growing so the remaining space will not be taken why because the flex grow for these two items are zero so now if i try to decrease this one what will happen so he already it is having a flex shrink of one so these two items will not decrease up to until and unless the parent threshold is less than the 200 pixel so now if it has reached the 200 pixel exactly the parent is 200 pixel now the two items will try to shrink it okay here if you see the two items will try to shrink it in the same scenario if you if you give this one also as a six zero now see so these two will go but whereas this item will not shrink item two will shrink so like this it will work so if the flex grow is zero also then flex shrink we can do the flex shrink and we can do the flex basis also we can use the flex base also this is the com combination we can use for example if i try to maintain is a zero this one and also zero so it will take exactly the content da data only okay so now here actually it is having the flex shrink of zero but this one is having flex shrink of one so if you maintain this one also as zero then what will happen see so nothing is there to do here okay so uh, already it has maximum to the max maximum it has shrink to the minimum content so whatever the minimum content with the minimum content it is having it has already shrinked it so for example uh, now if you want to give something like flex basis of 100 pixel and here you want to give flex base of 50 pixel means now the width has been applied so if you try to take here so now the shrinking will not happen but the space will be uh, space is not taken because of this flex grow as zero so if i try to maintain this flex grow as one means automatically item two will be increased because of the flex grow one okay so this is all about the flex shrink property so you need to understand the difference between flex grow and the flex shrink flex grow means it will distribute the space between those two flex shrink means it will shrink it will shrink than the flex basis minimum width it will try to shrink it this is all about the flex properties hope you understood about this flex grow flex shrink and also the flex basis and how the combination both works to each other if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you